This is the September 27, 2013 edition of Inside Rensselaer, about the people, programs, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The 2013 ranking of Rensselaer by U.S. News and World Report as 41st in the nation among national research universities is the latest recognition of the Institute's long-held reputation as one of the nation's top universities. And with the school year well underway, Rensselaer continues to celebrate the largest and strongest incoming freshman class in the university's 189-year history. The class of 2017 represents the highest caliber of students ever admitted, with more than 70% entering from the top 10% of their high school classes. President Shirley Ann Jackson has announced the appointment of Professor James Hendler as the director of the Rensselaer Institute for Data Exploration and Applications. The Lally School of Management and Technology recently launched a new Master of Science in Supply Chain Management program. To celebrate the start of the program, Meredith Stevens, 84, Chief Supply Chain Officer at Newell Rubbermaid and a Rensselaer alumna, delivered a keynote address. A computational model developed by researchers at Rensselaer is the first to accurately simulate the complex twists of a short sequence of RNA as it folds into a critical hairpin structure known as a tetraloop. The research is a glimpse into RNA found on all life on Earth and could advance a variety of research areas, including the search for new antibiotics and cures for protein-related diseases. The Lighting Research Center recently released a guide for designing light scoops, an innovative type of skylight. Light scoops provide optimal levels of daylight throughout the changing seasons and daily fluctuations in weather by capturing and strategically redirecting daylight into buildings. GE Global Research has joined the Data Science Research Center Industry Affiliates Program. With a $30,000 commitment, GE Global Research becomes a part of a growing number of corporate partners. The petabyte, a quality of digital information 12 orders of magnitude greater than the lowly kilobyte, looms large as a future standard for data. To glean knowledge from this deluge of data, a team of researchers at the Data Science Research Center is combining the reach of cloud computing with the precision of supercomputers in a new approach to big data analysis. A federal study led by Rensselaer is helping make Manhattan streets cleaner, less congested, and more profitable for businesses by shifting daytime delivery truck traffic to after normal business hours. Rensselaer professor Jose Hogan Veras is leading this innovative program in conjunction with the New York City Department of Transportation. For nearly 40 years, the hockey line has been a long-standing tradition at Rensselaer. The annual rite of passage for avid Rensselaer hockey fans provides an opportunity for individuals to stake out a spot along the Rensselaer Union in order to purchase season tickets for upcoming hockey games. Earlier this month, student groups lined up for two weeks, rotating individuals to ensure that someone was always present. Over time, changes to the hockey line tradition have made the event more festive and provided opportunities to not only engage members of the campus, but also student organizations and the athletics department. This year, more than 439 members of the campus community participated. And Rensselaer's largest alumni tradition takes place the weekend of October 4th through 6th, as a crowd of 3,000-plus alumni and guests is expected to take part in reunion and homecoming festivities. That's it for this edition. For more on these stories and others, go to www.rpi.edu slash about slash inside. 